Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. We recently had the opportunity to interview Professor Richard Farragher of the University of Brighton. We have started releasing the interview, but in the next few episodes, we will touch on his work with senescent cells and in particular, reversing their senescence with resveralogs. As a background to these interviews, we will run through Dr. Farragher's recent paper on the topic. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. This is the paper. Novel resveratrol derivatives have diverse effects on survival, proliferation, and senescence of primary human fibroblasts. Resveratrol impacts cell populations. In concentrations over 25 to 50 micromoles, typically this causes growth arrest, senescence, or apoptosis in multiple cell types. However, in concentrations of less than 10 micromoles, during the growth phase in cell cultures, it was able to rescue senescence in multiple types of human fibroblasts. To investigate how this works and to see if they could generate more effective molecules, the team tried 24 structurally related compounds to resveratrol and tested their ability to activate CERT1, toxicity, and effects on senescence. Making small changes to the structure of resveratrol had significant changes on its effects. At 100 micromoles, many of the compounds, including resveratrol, were toxic. This was a topic that we covered in the interview with Dr. Farragher. However, at 10 micromoles, most of the compounds enhanced growth in a way that was consistent with them rescuing a subpopulation of the senescent cells. Not all of the compounds activated CERT1, but this was not a requirement for the effect. It did, however, seem to make it more effective. As a little background to the study, there are nine hallmarks of aging, and some small molecules seem to improve more than one of these. There could be two mechanisms for this. The first is that the molecule directly impacts more than one marker. Or two, the markers are interlinked and changing one impacts the others. Understanding this would be very helpful in identifying the modes of operation for the compounds and how they could be made more effective. Resveratrol is an excellent molecule to start this study with, as it has been shown to have impact on proteostasis, stem cell exhaustion, mitochondrial dysfunction, genomic instability, and intracellular communication, and also to reverse cellular senescence. At the top is the structure of resveratrol. In this study, the team took this base and then modified it to create 24 similar compounds, which they then tested for toxicity CERT1 activation, and effects on growth and senescence. They did see that the compounds had varying effects on CERT1 activation, from almost double that of resveratrol to inhibiting it more than certinol, a common CERT1, CERT2 inhibitor used in the lab. So why is this happening? The most plausible explanation is the rejuvenation of a fraction of the senescent cells within the culture. This increase in the PKI67 has been shown before by another paper that Dr. Farragher co-authored, where senescence had been reversed. So their hypothesis is that the compounds will rescue cultures of senescent cells. Although CERT1 was not necessary for these effects, it was associated with a larger increase in PKI67. One thing to note is that the reversal only continued as long as the cells were in a solution of the compound. The paper does not go into the mechanism, but we do get into it in the interview. As Dr. Farragher says, it may be better to bring senescent cells back to being members of the community rather than removing them. However, the fact that they need to be kept in the solution is not such a good thing. My understanding had been that cellular senescence was irreversible. It appears that this is not necessarily the case, which is super interesting. Also, resveratrol has this effect, if not as much as some of the synthesized molecules. Does this mean that taking resveratrol helps keep my cells from being senescent? It seems early days, but worth watching to see what happens with these molecules.